his feet. Now that's a takedown. In describing this match, Corey, you said it can end anywhere, which means we could see this match conclude in the ring, the stands, the locker room. Heck, it could even have end outside the streets. And on top of that, it's worth noting that anything is legal in this match, guys. The only rule is the order. performance. Here is your winner, EC3. That was a big pinfall victory right there. That was simply a case of one guy determined to prove his dominance over another. What a match that was, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for joining us. Balls count anywhere, guys. Let's get this action underway. Matches like this rarely end inside the ring, which is what makes them so unpredictable. Oh, man. He's going for the pin. And EC3 easily getting the shoulder up. Knife edge chop echoing through the arena. like himself here. Ooh. He's still got plenty of gas left in his tank, though. It's hard to tell at this point, but perhaps the unpredictable nature of this match Ooh. is too much for him to overcome. If things don't change in a hurry, this has all the makings of a short evening for him. Oh, man. Guys, the most important thing for a superstar to remember in a Falls Count Anywhere match is that anything goes. And I do mean anything. I hope someone uses you as a weapon, Saxton. As Byron mentioned, anything goes in this one, which means we're likely to see a liberal use of weaponry here tonight. And keep in mind, Cole, the fact that there's no disqualification also means that anybody can interfere and there's nothing you can do about it. He's stumbling some now. I don't think this is how he envisioned this match going here tonight. He has to remember that Ooh. balls count anywhere in this match. And given his condition right now, he may fall victim to that sooner than later. Oh boy, he is rolling. Oh, what a right! Yeah, that's an attitude behind it. Oh, targeting the stomach. A mighty archer looking a bit surprised by this assault. Oh, I saw EC3 backstage earlier tonight and asked him what the name EC3 stands for. He said, and I quote, Nope. And walked away. What a punch! A striking blow. This capacity crowd starting to sense the end is near, and I don't disagree. You can't help but wonder how much more of this he can take. Keep in mind, guys, there's no safe haven for him in this Falls Count Anywhere match. He can lose this match outside the ring just as easily as he can inside of it. Michael, I commend you for trying to find out the origins of the name EC3, but... This is a guy so deluded, he probably doesn't even remember what EC3 actually stands for. Oh, Byron, my inside sources have told me what EC3 stands for, and I will tell you, EC3 means he's better than the two of you and doesn't need to answer any stupid questions. Now, let's move on, shall we? Headbutt! <laughs> Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. You know, I'd say the Falls Count Anywhere match was popularized back in the Attitude Era, 
But before that, I remember Pat Patterson and Sergeant Slaughter's famous 1981 alley fight, which many consider to be the precursor to false count anywhere. <laughs> this one is over. As Byron mentioned, the Pat Patterson Sergeant Slaughter alley fight had many of the elements of a false count anywhere match. Most notably, I'd say, was the heavy weapon usage. Yeah, that match had everything from cowboy boots to brass knuckles, but more importantly, weren't you born in 1981, Saxton? Good point. Well, guys, the referee should have it relatively easy here tonight because, as you know, in a false count anywhere match, anything goes. And look at the quickness by EC3. Wow. Hard to argue your take on this match, Michael. When there are no rules to enforce, the official sole responsibility in a match like this. Here it is. When it comes to Falls Count Anywhere matches, for my money, there are few better than the November 2016 battle between Charlotte Flair and Sasha Banks. Great job escaping, trying to turn this thing around. He can crank it up whenever the mood strikes him. Speaking of that classic Charlotte Sasha encounter Corey mentioned, we should add that it was the first time ever that the Women's Championship changed hands in a Falls Count Anywhere match. And guys, I will never forget. Here he goes. Maybe a figment of your imagination, but... Well, Jimmy Hurts. That's how you put an exclamation point on the end of a shoulders on the mat. EC3 reemerged in 2018 with perhaps the biggest ego we've ever seen in NXT. I say perhaps because he arrived to a roster featuring Velveteen Dream. If you're asking me who's got the bigger ego, it's a toss-up. One says he's better than 99% of the world, and the other wants everyone to say his name. That's why it was so great to see EC3 and Velveteen Dream hurt each other. And the two of you are yammering about EC3 and Velveteen Dream. They don't have egos. These two men are the best competitors in NXT. Here we go. Oh, lie detector. Hey, Byron, what's up? Here's his moment, Michael. Our truth has him in his sights. Here comes our Maybe a figment of your imagination, but little Jimmy hurts. Truth wins. Here is your winner, R. Truth. You heard the ring announcer. This one's over. And here's your winner. I don't make the matches, but if I did, What's I'd put up? these two back in the ring ASAP. What an amazing match. And I can imagine there aren't too many people at home regretting two.